Good morning guys, it's April the 21st. I'm Henry Green from London Trading Group and I'm just going to run through what we're looking for in the markets today. Okay, so starting with Euro dollar as we usually do. We are now equivalently down at this trend line. So this was the one that was holding, this was the one that was held last time. So you have to kind of expect that we hold again. However, this lower high for me looks like it's probably going to go through. Uh, on the day we finished, we did finish very bearishly down. So this could now continue. I mean, on the day, I've actually got this at a bit of an outer trend line. So if you take the last one, two, three swings, we're now kind of at it now. And so potentially this is the zone that we fail at. All of the MAs are crossed back over now. So you could see the pullback into it before a sell off. Um, but certainly at the, for me at the moment, I think you probably could have a big move down uh, and, a, and quite a violent one as well. Uh, potentially it goes sideways because obviously we've got the Euro meeting today. Um, so we've got 12.45, we've got the minimum bid rate and then at 1.30 we've got the, uh, the press conference. Um, and when you have that combined with the Philly Fed manufacturing index and the un unemployment claims from the US, what you could see is this massive spike down here uh, and complete the Fib on the downside, which is down at, let's find out where that is, back down at the lows at 1.12.40 uh, and then potentially see this rally. So this could be the lower high and we could now we could potentially see this go lower today so we are at, we are at support here so you've got to play that as support one interesting thing to note this past market angle that i've had in as you can see last time we broke through it we came back and retested it and then went higher exactly the same has happened now so we've kind of gone through it come back to retest it and now we could potentially go higher so i don't I, i've got a feeling potentially to look for both ways and certainly if we go up through the highs so if we manage to get a close above 113.80, I think there's a quite an easy move back up towards 114.50. So should we get that swing, I think that's probably going to be the high probability trade uh, for today. And obviously, likewise, with the short side and the short spike, if that happens. So cable broke back through, well, held perfectly or equivalently on this trend line. So on the day, it's held perfectly on that moving average as well. So you've probably got to look for the short side in this one. Um, the fibs are taken out on both sides, basically. So we are just kind of... It's suggesting that we're just going sideways so a b that's taken out there a b so this this becomes the new fib that we've got in at the moment so there's not really a pullback but that is the fib it's a correct fib down so if we just put this in so we're looking right down to maybe 140 what's that 142 143 area so 143 is quite a good level of support there so if we get a little bit of a sell-off and a spike down to there, completes the FIB, I think then you can be probably looking for buyers again in this one. You have gone through this on the hourly, you've gone through the market, you've gone through the trend line now, so I'm potentially looking for the long side. This is a good show of strength, and often what happens is you break through it, and we could hold now back down here and then go higher, because that for me is a break. A uh, bit of a double top there. And you could now see this come lower before then bouncing and going higher, so I like 143 as a target to potentially, potentially go higher in that one. Dolly Yen... Look at that one on the day. Dolly N closed higher on the day. I know that for yeah, nicely. Nice closing, Dolly N. I do actually have a bit of resistance up here. You're running into 110 resistance, I think. Um, so just be wary of that one. So let's have a look what the fibs are saying. So the fibs are saying to me that had that completed, so that's fine. So in this next fib up, if this is the way that we're going, we're in we're on this outer trend line here. We'll go through a new inner to be fair. So you could have this line in potentially that we're looking at. Uh, pull back into this 38 zone, so you might get a pullback to 109.40, which is a good level of resistant uh, support now, and then potentially see this push up higher out to the outer trend line. So I think that's quite a good play in dolly yen. So maybe you see a pullback before going higher, pull back off this one of these uh, moving averages and a lot higher low made or something, uh, and then we're looking for to take dolly yen higher. Certainly, it looks like it's it's pretty perky yesterday, and it looks like a nice rejection from um, we're back above the 200 on the monthly as well, which is interesting. So let me just change that to the weekly. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so it's looking quite bullish on the week so far. Um, it had an indecision bar yes last week, and now it looks like it's rallying, and this could this could cause quite a big rally in, in dolly yen. We've got the eight moving average, which is held on the week, coming in at 111. So you could see potentially a, a rally up to 111. I think that's probably quite a good play if you get that pullback and a good price and a good risk reward. Dollar CAD, I didn't really foresee this going th straight through last night. Um, well, yesterday, sorry. I mean, it did kind of it took the lows out, and we've kind of closed back above it which is interesting. It looks like, for me, this could be um, just an indecision bar at support. So what you could now get is a rally in dollar CAD, because if this is a, just an indecision bar at support, what you're getting is that 127 hit on the day, and then you're going to get a push up now. So potentially what I'm going to look for is the top side to be played again. I mean, it didn't it look very, very weak yesterday when it broke. However, that stop basically bang at 112, 125.90, and then we close back above 126. For me, it's quite key. So I think we close at support there. And I've got 126 as 126.20 is quite a good level of support. So let's see what happens with that one. Again, obviously, if it creates a lower high, 
then we, we potentially got to look for the other side. But at the moment, it just looks like it's going to continue this pattern, and this could just be a retest uh, of this first this kind of swing. But I'd probably say this was the line that you want in, uh, and then obviously if you bounce the other way, then you've got to look that that side as well. So. Um, dollar cad looks a bit confused to me. I think it probably rallies today. Uh, if not, it's going to be a sharp move lower. Um, Aussie dollar. Uh, Aussie dollar is an interesting one at the 60. Kind of we're making it looks pretty starts starting to look pretty similar to this. So you had the first push bounce, bounce, and then it went lower, and then you had a, a, um, a lower high, and then it went bang higher. So I mean, you've got you've not got that far to go now for me. You've got 78.50 as the high uh, and the D. So. We look, we're looking like we're just holding on this 50. So if you get another, well, this is a lot higher. So if it pulls back and holds on the 50 again, then you probably got to be looking for a buy there. Otherwise, you've got to look to this, then goes to go through the high. So, um, and then 78.50 is the target. So just wait to see what happens in that one. Ideally, I'd like a, a high low to be made, uh, and then we go through because then it's a pretty straightforward play. Whereas at the moment, it doesn't look that clear. Uh, so I'm just going to connect these two, and then we'll see if we get a high low, maybe off the 50 again. So maybe if it gets down 77.90 the last time, and then we could see this rally. And then you're looking sort of 60 pips back up to um, back up to that 77.50 area that we, well 78.50 area that we think it's going to get to. So Kiwi finally hit the D. We look like we're coming off a little bit on this one. It's not really respecting any of the moving averages at the moment. However, they are crossed, and we could now when it crosses, they seem to have pushed off. So you got we're in between. We sort of crossed back over the 50 again now. So if we look at the day, what's that saying? Okay, quite a strong rejection yesterday actually. So we are. We have rejected now the next level down is 69.20 does that take us back into the fibs yeah so what we could see now is that pullback happen today let's see i mean this trend line's been holding really well so i wouldn't really expect it to go any deeper than this especially not in a in, in an uptrend that we're in at the moment so if we just put the fibs in um so then we've got this one here as well Okay, so we're nearly at a D anyway, so the D comes in around this moving average, so I've got this in, which is the, it's probably something quite random, why is it not showing me what it is, 152 moving average on, on Kiwi, uh, look it's held really nicely there, uh, and likewise in the past it's held, so you've had that pullback and then the test of it here before breaking, so um, yeah, I, I like that as a moving average, so I'm going to wait to see if we get any rejection down there at the D as well on this moving average. I think that's enough probably for a, an initial position, an initial buy. Um, although it's not 20, I think 50 may be all right, and if you get down to 20, then certainly that's that's a buy down at 20 as well. So, okay, so there's a few interesting things today, guys. It doesn't look super clear. As I said, you've got to be wary of the press conference from Eurozone. That's going to be dictate really what the, what the Euro does, obviously. You've got Carney speaking at three, and we've got retail sales early this morning, 9.30 from the, from the UK. So a fair bit of news coming out, so just be wary of that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be looking for um, probably the crosses in the markets. I'm probably staying away from Euro, uh, unless I can be in and out of it this morning. Uh, it probably just goes sideways leading into the conference. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful, uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Click subscribe to so never miss a video again, and thank you for listening.